is kind of one of the hardest things I think I've ever had to face. How do you explain a moment of now to somebody who's going to pick it up inside these journals or in a story or on a podcast maybe 5, 10, 15 years from now? How do you explain where we presently are? It's very difficult to even talk about 9-11 because there are many people from the generation of Alpha, that's the new one, that look at you going, well, I've heard about it, but I don't know how you guys went through it and how you embraced the changes that you faced. The same is going to be true when it comes to the COVID-19 lockdown. I mean, we're four years beyond March of 2020, but to talk about it, it's more like, I think we were there. Well, yeah, we were, but we readjusted and we got by. No, I'm going to be very honest with you. I think there are billions of us that are very lucky that we are here today. Luck was on our side. I lost my mother during the COVID lockdown. I lost my sister in the years after because it was associated with the COVID. So we're lucky to be in this moment. But how do we explain? How do we share our story? My grandparents didn't write journals. So I really don't know what their lives before my mother was really like. I heard stories, but everything in our past is based on rewriting our history. Hey, it's Arrow. This is the Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I'm the silent wolf. I sit on the edge of the forest and I observe. I watch the wind as it whips through the trees. I listen to the conversations from everybody, even the beekeeper down the street. I want to learn as much as I can because it creates authentic conversation. This is the Daily Mess. So many changes are constantly put on display around each and every one of us. And as we enter a new season, that of spring, summer, winter, or fall, the idea of growing with it is always met with the fear of not wanting to change. So many people endlessly say, I just like where I am right now. Why do we need change? It becomes frustrating. Well, being that daily writer for 30 years, I'm sure I've asked that very question a billion times, only to learn newer ways to accept change. The most valuable lesson is that it doesn't instantly happen, this thing called change. Things happen long before the moment of recognition. Yes, there are events that come from out of nowhere that instantly put us on new paths, unlike anything experienced. Such change as this has ways of rearranging our dreams and lifestyles. I see more of it at the age of 61 than any other time in my life, mainly because the acceptance of change means being aware of change and all that change brings. But I want to ask you, what are you going to do with your change today. It's going to happen because it does every day. So I'm asking, what are you going to do with your change? How are you going to react to your change? Do you embrace it or do you run from your change? This is why I'm a daily writer. This is why I like to defrag, ask the questions, question the answers so that I can put my change in a place where I can go back and look at it to study it. I do a vocal defrag so I can listen to it through the the pitch, volume and tone of my voice to be in a place of right now while studying the authenticity of what was once right now. I'll say it again. Everything in your past When you talk about it, you are rewriting the story. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.